teaching video. This is my patient, Gracie. In the room with us is her mother and her husband. During her initial exam, this is a flexor withdrawal reflex. We can see that all her muscles are inhibited. You, you are trying, right? The deep tendon reflex. You push up. It's also inhibited bilaterally. I'm just weak, I guess. Push up for me. It's the gluteus medius. Push out. Which is inhibited bilaterally. The C1 is probably out. Your upper neck. Try this one. Patient's left pec. That was good. Left latissimus dorsi. They are strong. Good. Pull towards your hip. As is her right good. lat and right pec. Okay, so good. it's a lower it's body that's right. not functioning All right, properly. So it's your low back being tweaked. What were you doing? Uh, I was packing <laughs> and I picked up our luggage. <laughs> She packed the house, by the way. Yeah. Then this knee for me. These are right hip flexors. They're inhibited. We're testing twice to make certain it wasn't a fluke. Left one strong. Triple check. Right one's still inhibited. All right, so right side. No lower body strength, low back. How's your sleep? Um, It's decent, but every morning I wake up, my back hurts really bad. Um, but like, I sleep pretty well. No panic attacks? Um, no. I have pretty like bad anxiety through the days when I'm awake, but so so I'm stressed all the time. Okay. That's from work I take it? Yes. Not from your spouse. No. He he, <laughs> he actually told me out quite a bit. No. <laughs> I want to hear this. <laughs> uh, so here I'm checking the C1 on Gracie because this is what I suspect is causing the inhibition of all her lower extremity muscles, and that's the C1 in red. Doing some mobilization on it. And some trigger point therapy around the muscles. I go back to check the lower extremities, and it does not correct their weakness. No change. Try again. Go. Try this one for me. Push up. This is a cross cord reflex. I simply wanted to see if it had any impact. It does not. Here I'm checking to see how sensitive she is. The sensitivity grades very quickly. Here I'm checking Gracie's C7. Her C1 didn't work and her C7 does work. So stimulation of the C7 causes facilitation of the muscles, corrects the flexor withdrawal reflex bilaterally. Correct her glute needs. Push up for me. Good. This is a cross cord reflex, which is normal. Good. Okay. So here I'm gonna do a little trigger point therapy and massage on that area. For me. Then See if it corrects that right hip flexor weakness, which it does. Maybe small little adjustment on your low neck in a second. Here I'm doing a little stretching on the cervical muscles and the muscles of the upper shoulders. I'm going to adjust Gracie, show from three different angles. Right, a little push. Ooh. Did you get warm? Uh, I didn't get warm, but my palms are definitely sweaty. Yeah. So patients will get warm or their palms will sweat after the correct adjustment. When's the last time you had a thyroid test? Mm, probably never unless the military does it. Why don't we, uh, your feet are too cold, although they were on the floor. Uh, My feet are pretty cold all the time. And she goes to bed at night and her feet touch you, they're like ice cubes? Yes, Yeah. all the time. Let's go get you a blood panel, a thyroid panel. Okay. Okay. So Gracie's feet were very cold, although I have a tile floor. But after asking her husband for confirmation, it tells me she needs to go get a thyroid panel done. So you're cold and tired all the time? Okay. Is that... Is that hey, right? hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you cold and tired all the time? Yes. Yeah, so let's go get you checked for some thyroid issues. Let's see if that's causing you to have this 
Patients who have thyroid will have fatigue issues, weight issues, and energy issues. It's a talus adjustment. This is a fifth metatarsal adjustment. <laughs> Those are far more entertaining videos than my office, there's no doubt, okay? But for entertainment <laughs> purposes, the best. Uh, but they're also not really focusing on... It's actually the most uncomfortable adjustment. I know, it's an uncomfortable adjustment. All right, from the top, you ready? Push up. Want to recheck all her reflexes? I'm looking for like what part is out. Normalizes the flexor withdrawal reflex. The right part, even by not checking. But they also miss the right space. And the glute med. So I always have a patient walk after treatment. I want to see what impact the care has on their body. We're not done, but I want you to go walk. And I want you to see how you feel, okay? Sit for a second. So I feel good. My back still really hurts. Okay. Let's do this on your stomach. Okay. What part of your low back? Is it the low, low back? Yeah, it's my low, low back. It's like right here. It's mostly my right side right now, but it's it's kind of just constant. It's just kind of the right pattern patients there. have with a sacral issue. Pull this foot to your back. Ready? Go. So her left hamstring's not working. Right one's good. Try this one. Go. Okay, we're going to This is a gallant reflex. Same chest. Go. Which is normal. That's normal. On the left. Again. Normal on the right. These are cross cord gallant reflexes. Normal. normal. That's normal. Normal. So I want to check her L5. I'm putting pressure on her L5. I want to see the impact it has upon her Don't hamstrings. All right. That's not normal. Okay, you can rest for a little bit. We're going to do your L5 just like you did then. Okay, I'm doing some trigger point work on her glutes. Mentally, her low back and her rector spinae muscles. Yeah. Every patient, every day. <laughs> Here are rock patients for both the relaxation component and to do a small amount of cross friction on the Rector spinae muscles and low back muscles. Is it good. I always want to check with patients to make certain that my pressure is not too much. For some patients, they need that. helps break up adhesions and trigger points and some of the fascia. Lori, thank you for trusting your daughter and your son-in-law. Sure. Lily said something about chiropractor. I am the perfect Sometimes when you adjust patients, they're very fatigued and tired after words. When I was looking into Nick's face, I could see that he needed some sleep after his care. You feel tired, right? Yeah, yeah. He was treated previously. I want to readjust her because she's out of position. We're doing her L5. Pressure. Let's get the right kind of torque on that L5. Oh. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Needed that to happen. <laughs> That kind of adjustment right. takes a lot of now stress off the patient. Okay. Sweaty palms? No, not as bad. Does your back still hurt? A little bit, but it's so much better already. We'll do one more thing for her. What? 
<laughs> She's like getting in her football stance. <laughs> well, I can bend over. So yeah, how's it good. feel? Yeah, a lot better. It's it like, it's a little painful, but it's like, yeah, I could barely like stand up earlier. Why you're coming? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, but that is good. Actually, here I'm doing some extra cross friction on her iliolumbar ligament. These are ligaments that hold the spine to the pelvis. And when they get tight in patients, they can cause low back pain. It's too much to speak up, okay? Okay, that's good though. <laughs> Forgive me. You like me and you get off the table. <laughs> Alright, go try that. Okay. It's still just a little bit tight, but it, yeah, it, it is good. Just do one last thing on your stomach. So here I go to check her tail junction because she's better, but she's not 100%. Check her leg, it's strong, that's normal. Good. I tap on this area of the spine and I want to see what it does to the leg. It actually causes the leg to go weak and that is right. abnormal. We're going to be a little adjustment, it's a little uncomfortable, okay? Okay. <laughs> Like I said, <laughs> and for good measure, I want to go back and do some extra trigger point and cross friction massage on those muscles around the TL junction. I know. All right, go try that one. This is for the upper thoracic spine. Drop your arms. Come here. Look up. Oh. <laughs> That's what my dad did to me last now night. Around, so you know. Okay. I'm gonna try your bend again. Uh, what? Your football stand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay. <laughs> That's what it takes. That's what it takes. All right. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you very you. much for the chance to treat you. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it.